続いてのセッションはジャパンブロックチェーンウィークによるコミプリクリプトコミュニティの議論ですジャパンブロックチェーンウィーク内でさまざまな大型イベントなどを主催している皆様をお招きいたしましたそれでは早速登壇者の方々をご紹介いたしますエリーリーさんあ、失礼しましたこちらから佐藤インさんドクタープリングさんウィプラスワンさんエリーリーさんそして本セッションのモデレーターを務めていただくのはあやとゆうさんです The next session is Crypto Communities Discussion by Japan Blockchain Week We have invited the key figures and who host various major events within Japan Blockchain Week Let me introduce our speakers Satu In Dr. Pudding We plus one Ellie Lee And the session will be moderated by Yu Ayato それではやとさんよろしくお願いいたしますあ、あ、あ、Yes Hello everyone, I'm Yu Ayato from the Japan Blockchain Week uh, Maybe you know or not uh, This conference also is the IBS Crypto with Japan Blockchain Week So this year we are very honored to co-host this event And also Japan Blockchain Week is not only one event as we say week There are many community events, official partners, many events. So today there are many community leaders coming from here. They are organizing the very good event while this July. So please introduce your project yourself. So one by one, start from the start. Thank you, you, for the introduction. Hi, everyone. This is Satu here. I'm from Atcon Team, and we are the Community Ethereum Development Conference. And we're going to be in Tokyo this July, from July 24th to 30th, at the Yoyogi uh, National Gymnasium, as well as the United Nations University. So we've been doing this for eight years now, and it's our very first event in Asia this year. If you're interested in learning more about Ethereum network and have fun while learning, just definitely come to Tokyo for our event. And we have Dr. Pudding here. <laughs> yes, thanks for your introductions. I'm Dr. Pudding from Kudasai JP. And um, Kudasai JP is the one of the biggest community, in, largest community in Japan. And it has 20,000 members in our community right now. It's, um, so we've been running the, our community for four years. and. Um, We made, yeah, I think it's one of the biggest ones. <laughs> and thanks for uh, inviting us, and thanks for the introduction, and thanks for the good opportunity. And here's the V+. Yeah, thank you, Pudding. Um, Kudasa Japan is not one of the biggest ones. It's the biggest one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Thanks. Nice meeting yeah, you guys. Um, this is V+, head of IBS Crypto, this event. So welcome to IBS. <laughs> So uh, we, everyone here, I think we're working together. Uh, so I'm also serve as an advisor of Japan Blockchain Week. And we also work together with Aircon to, to make it like work better in Japan. And for like uh, all the events other than IBS Crypto, so we collaborate with Kudasai Japan, some event on like a Tokyo Tower night like last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, Tokyo Tower, we did, we hold the side events like at the 10,000 people come, coming to Tokyo Tower and we, yeah. we collaborate and organize together. So thanks so much, and looking forward to talk all, all, all with all of you guys. And next, Ellie. Hey guys, uh, my name is Ellie Lee. I'm the head of product for the University of Ethereum, which is an education initiative that focuses on reaching, uh, raising the uh, benchmark for digital literacy. Uh, so how we're going uh, about doing that is uh, creating this online platform to get people into the door Uh, this Duolingo style uh, uh, platform to get people understand the basic blockchain concept. We also have different programming given your uh, different journey, different stages uh, of your Web3 journey, but really just focusing on building long-term impact um, and building projects that actually uh, contribute to the greater Ethereum ecosystem. Thank you guys. So here is the from another one. First question, so how What's the you know, motivation to making the community? Because, for example, making like a product or making a company, it's very easy to understand the motivation. But uh, start uh, developing the community is very, I think it's a very unique way to join the 
Web3 ecosystem. So, yeah, I want to ask you about that. Also, I want to know, for example, if your community starts from that very clear vision and stay on the same way, or people, 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 and something that changing again and again. So, yeah, please say uh, who start. I think Dr. Pudding might be the best one too because you started oh. Kodasai. Yes. It's, um, so you, you want to know the motivation? What motivation, yeah, and how you start the community. Well, for, for our community, uh, we started as a DeFi trading group in 2020. So we've been running for years. Um, but um, the style we made uh, our community big is, is kind of the in common words we say pay it forward. I mean, we don't want to dump on the community. We don't want to do the, how to say, the paid marketing. We just want to share the good information. And we need it. Uh, we like the cutting edge information. And for, uh, pursuing those things is very important for the crypto, this field, because the, uh, the things are very changing in this field. And um, I know that um, in Japan, Japan is so slow. There's so many time lags <laughs> in the global market uh, compared to. It's kind of the half a year or one year later than the global trends. And the recent tree, my friend asked me, hey, I heard about the BRC20. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're buying BRC20 from now? By now? Uh, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, maybe it's okay, but uh, yeah, try it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I feel that it's so slow. So I want to eliminate those gaps between global market and the Japan, Japan community. So we are trying to share the cutting edge information and um, yeah, try to make the Japanese literacy to the global level. That is our motivation. So how many people was in the core member for the beginning? For the beginning, maybe the, it started as a, about 10 people community. So it's the same core member is the or managing the community or changing the core members? Uh, so, sorry? The core, core member, the managing uh, uh, core team. members, um, yes, uh, many of the members stay in community because uh, we establish our company, but it's all, all from the, our community, including me. So everyone is, has, how do I say, high loyalty to the community. Everyone, yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, so. I actually wanted to comment on that because uh, we also started as a global decentralized community, but we have a different approach because we're a nomadic conference, which means we're in a different country every year. And uh, in addition to the existing community that's online, that's global and decentralized, we'll go to a different country every year, find local communities, try to talk to the correct partners, and trying to you know, enlarge the size of the community. So it's a combination of online and offsite. So that's how we do it. How do you feel about Japanese crypto community from your view? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to comment on that, but definitely it has evolved a lot from, say, like two years ago, right? People are not, no longer just talking about, say, metaverse and NFT. I've, I've, I've been to, say, ZK meetups in Tokyo. People are talking about uh, learning and talking about zero knowledge proof and account abstraction together in those meetups. So I think that's definitely a change. People are, more and more people are willing to learn about the fundamentals of the blockchain technology. Yeah. Thank you. So how about, uh, uh, yeah, we press. So about my motivation? Oh, yeah. Um, so I think IBS is just a social e experiment. So how can we create a society that is fair and equal Everybody can contribute to two and also get benefit from it. So this is not only one conference. So we have this year already 3,000, no, sorry, 300 side events. I think uh, after a few days, uh, it's still like the, the number is still increasing. We will have 350 side events in such a small city, Kyoto. Wow, one, one, 100 side events like a day. So I think it's about like a social movement. It's about like, everybody would like to contribute first, like pay forward, uh, exactly as like Kudasai thought. So everybody contribute first and have fun. And then finally they will find, uh, they will get some benefit. And also, of course, as uh, Satu said, we want to uh, cross the boundaries between Japan and the global Web3 society. 
Because when you go to bookstores in Japan, I think many things are kind of translated, translated in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They just want to explain it easier. But that's not true. That's something wrong. So we want to bring those global top players to come to Japan, and people can, can, can listen to their like, voice lovely and, and talk with them, engage with, with them, to get the first hand of information. So the, to, 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 to build a like, correct base of building the crypto uh, business in the future. Yeah, that's my motivation. <laughs> yeah, great, leave it. Uh, oh, it's, uh, so we plus, uh, I have the question, so how, I feel like the IBS is the core of many, many, many side events. So how you coordinate with, and how you do manage to talk with so many event organizers? Very good question, because uh, we are not like some other conference, global conference, like people can apply for side event and then, get, then they get accepted automatically. We're still kind of like controlling, like centralized. So we have a screening process. So people submit and we see if the side event is, is, is good or not. If it's like, you know, like rock pool, no, then. <laughs> rock pudding? Yeah, like, rock pudding? <laughs> just change my name. Uh, 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 no. So, but if it's like a, a really nice event, so we, we put on to our list. Uh, but we have a detailed guidebook about how to create a side event like how to use Luma, how to apply through our Google form, and how many minutes, how many days we, uh, it need for us to, to respond to you. So a, a whole bunch of guidelines to teach you how to create a side event. And finally, I think this is like, uh, we're making a game rule. So if you're creating a good side event, we give you some, a little bit, uh, next pass um, to, to your members. So to, uh, it's like a reward, uh, your contribution, of the whole ecosystem. So it's a game rule. Yeah, it's great that uh, you made a movement that, the, that uh, the, there's no, so many people is coming to push me at the one time. So it's very great. And it's very, so, how to say, so sophisticated. And yeah, I think that the good point of the web is that the, if you pay work straight truth, you're going to evaluate. Somebody will evaluate you. So it's, I think that's a good point. And you are, you are so doing so great, and thanks for everything this, about this event. Uh, thank you, because everybody's doing great. But what we have is a protocol. So we're making protocol, we mean, we're not making event. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's ask about the uh, area. So how, what's your motivation for starting the UEs? Uh, um, yeah, so um, so for you, ETH, um, just you know, sharing a little bit about my personal background, I've been building products in both Web 2 and Web 3 for a while. Um, you know, some of the projects were really successful and some were not. Um, and then during Web 3, a big issue is onboarding a lot of the Web 2 users into the space from my previous experience. So joining the University of Ethereum um, kind of solves this problem. And um, the way I think about building community is this shared value, shared purpose. And what if you know, we create a platform um, and set the narratives, like set the examples to show people this is how you can learn together. Um, and then now growing from you know, just two years ago to now with over 20,000 people across um, 100 chapters uh, across different schools, different communities, uh, this is exactly the social experiment that we are doing on the university side. Um, and then like right now happening in Toronto through University of Waterloo, it's like self-initiated uh, in initiated, um, solidity bootcamp that, they're, uh, that we're putting together with them to learn more about uh, blockchain Web3. Um, so we kind of set up those sort of protocols, like we plus said, um, to help people, to empower them to be able to put something together even when you know, the team is here in Tokyo. So um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do on the university side. Yeah, so uh, I have a question because the uh, curiosity, because, because of many Japanese company people for example, for when they say education, they are thinking to making something like the education. Oh. <laughs> okay, so any so like the education book or something and sell something. So many Japanese, in case Japanese, uh, 
usually education is very connecting with something or selling the book or textbook or something, but I think I feel the UE side is very different. So how is staff from the, like, the volunteer team or someone very funding a lot for, from the startup? Uh, 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 sorry, I missed you in the last five seconds. Uh, yeah, so how do you eat that stuff or someone gathering for volunteer or some big person funding a lot for start the operation cost or something? Uh, so that, uh, how, how from the zero? Because the many people, when many people are working together, always it's start from the cost for the operation cost. So, wait, so how... So, oh, uh, so, so yeah, so I mean, we provide um, some sort of grants um, people can apply for. Um, and then, um, and then usually like those university clubs, the students we work with, they have some sort of budget um, to work with. It's, us it's usually the lack of resources and tools or just the available resources in this ecosystem they don't really know how to connect or how to reach out to. So like for example, this University of Waterloo bootcamp, we're putting together this uh, with different partners in the ecosystem. Uh, for example, this uh, really cool developer community called Build Guild, they would never have connected with the University of Waterloo if it's not through us. So we're kind of doing this sort of matchmaking in the middle um, and then uh, just funneling resources to the right people looking for the right help. So that's one way. And then kind of behind the scene, uh, we also invest in incubate projects uh, ourselves to you know, lead by example, set the narratives, and test different use cases. Thank you. Okay, so I want to go to the next question. So the uh, next question is the lesson from the community. Because uh, while doing the community, I think there is many, many good things and also good, very tough time is coming. So what was your uh, most tough lesson from your community? Shy? Okay, okay, thanks. Um, well, um, in 2020, I mean, actually, 2019, there was no co community for the crypto at those days in Japan. There's a, there were only scams, so. <laughs> so, uh, so there's no competitor at those day, days, though. So. There's not so sure hard building the community. We just did the straight thing, the true thing, and the people just came, so. You become the first one. Yeah, first one, yeah. Well, we are the same, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a strategy. And, well, actually, maybe the first thing was the, the busy. It was, it was too busy, especially in 2021, because the many projects wanted to do the AMAs or something like that, and they, got, they want to get into the Japan market. And we have to hold the AMA every day, almost every day. So it was too busy for us. <laughs> I think that was so, so hard. In that case, how you pick up the project? Because the many projects are asking Kudasai to, OK, please do AMA, please do something. So uh, but you can't do everything. So you should pick up for something, right? Yeah. So what, what's the core, something like the basic con basic regulation or something for pick up the which project should be okay or which project is not good? Well, actually, uh, as I said, um, actually, we don't want to do just the paid marketing things. Uh, we really want to do work with the good projects because, um, it, like, um, how do I say? It's, now we have the 20,000 members in our community, so if we advertise the like PFE pro NFT products, maybe some of the members will buy it. And it's too dangerous. I mean, they, they, many of the members, recently many of them, our members got airdrop from the many products, so they got the money, so, <laughs> so they easily buy the many NFTs. So it will go up in the pump, and somebody will do, do the bump, dump, so we don't like that, those things. And yes, um, recently there's so many gaming projects coming out, but we have uh, only limited times to play the games. We cannot play the, all those games. So we want to uh, work with uh, many good gaming projects. And um, 
made good reputations. Who is the uh, CEO? Who is the backers? And what is the reputation from their friends? And something like that. And there is they uh, are they on the trends or? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we have the some kind of the borderline for the projects. Okay, thank you. So, so how about the uh, WePlus? So you mean like what's the problem or how we choose the projects? Which uh, questions? Uh, no, no. Before, uh, what's the the, the most difficult thing for in case, for example, IBS for this? How many years from the IB? It's three years. Three. Yeah, I've used crypto uh, yeah, I've used from 2022. So what was the most difficult time for you? Yeah, still, it's a rulemaking. How we create a protocol that to uh, provide a platform for everyone that makes them, them feel like it's equal and it's fair. So we have a lot of like uh, main partners, which are sponsors, how to create the menu. We have VC partners, community partners, media partners. So how we create the rules to make everybody happy and make their like uh, willing to uh, contribute to the whole ecosystem. So this is actually like programming. So we need a lot of debugging inside it. Uh, actually, I was an engineer before, so <laughs> so I kind of think this this kind of iteration uh, is something we're struggling a lot to make everybody satisfied with that. Okay, Here thank you. Is very uh, yeah. what, wanted to sorry. I just wanted to quickly comment on that. Um, I fortunately haven't got any tough lessons, but there's definitely there are definitely challenges. I think uh, another challenge that's still existing uh, till nowadays is definitely how to establish consensus among different people. Because building community, you're essentially gathering a group of decentralized and diverse individuals, and different people have their own goals, purpose, and they want essentially what they want to achieve in this ecosystem. How are you making sure that they all have the right ethos? How are you making sure that they're moving along with you? I think that's something really challenging. And actually, um, by having those on-site or face-to-face uh, -face interactions like IBS or uh, IBS Crypto and Atcon, you can essentially it's like team building for those communities. And um, it's a great community. It's a great opportunity for people to connect and solve the problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, how about the early? Uh, wait, what's the question? Yeah, so the, what, what was the most difficult moment for you for the UE's organization? Right. Um, so, I think for me, um, like I mentioned, uh, you know, I was building products, um, like uh, just, just working in Web 2 and Web 3. And then it didn't really give me like this platform or ecosystem overview. And then now through the University of Ethereum, when you work with different schools, different uh, community leaders and different projects that are all looking to do the same thing, like you kind of just feel so energetic every single day. Like you find a purpose that, um, you know, to move towards um, this, this common goal uh, to build for this greater ecosystem. Um, so I think this is what's really powerful, um, and specifically in Japan, I think this year we're trying a lot of really cool use cases. Uh, for example, we're setting up scavenger hunt for for Adcom, and it started this week. So um, you know, there's Centrum, which is a Web3 co-working space, and then we have a station at Digital Garage. So a bunch of different locations at, at Shibuya. So because, uh, so we kind of got a yes from all those different communities because of the shared ethos, shared values. So we could test these, um, I will say usually commercially very hard use cases in the real Web2 world very easily through the university, uh, eco uh, the, the UE ecosystem and in initiative. Thank you, uh, and thank you guys. So we have only five minutes left, so please say one by one about today's uh, wrap up, and please say something, if, for example, if you want something to share, for, for example, like the next event or next roadmap or something, uh, please, for next year, what do you do? So please say one by one for one, one minute. Starting with me, I think, like, community essentially is about people. And it's about all of you who are sitting here, right? Like, what attracted you to this event? What attracted you to continue to keep building? 
and what will keep you going? I think those are the questions you need to ask yourself, and we need to ask ourselves as like community organizer as well. What is this thing? Um, well, definitely, definitely, uh, our goal is to move the ecosystem to build build a better Japan uh, Web3 ecosystem. But definitely, I think um, this is something we all need to ask ourselves, remind ourselves every day. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, you have to go to Edicon. Yeah, Edicon, Edicon. Yeah, More and, about Edicon. And definitely come to Edicon end of July in Tokyo. Yeah. 26 to 30. Yeah, like you will start actually at 24th to 30th. Yeah. And um, I will be the one of the speaker of the Edco events. <laughs> and so actually, Kudasai is a user community and totally free. Yeah, everyone can join. So if you, yeah, please join us. And we will have the side events tonight at, um, I forgot the venue name, but yeah, uh, it, maybe it's uh, 300 or 400 people are coming. This night, so yeah, please join us. And uh, recently, uh, we made a subsidiary called Omakase, and it's called it's kind of the bad days company, and it's uh, invested by the normal holdings. So uh, if you have, we can help in the technical side and uh, contribute to the blockchain in those side too. So if you need help, please ask me. Thank you. Well, anyways, uh, join Edicon from 26th, 24th to 30th. Uh, there's a university of the UN first, right? First four yeah, days. It's, it's first, it's going to be at United Nations University in Minami Aoyama. And then later, we're, we're moving to the Olympic Stadium, the Yoyogi National Gymnasiums. And all the tickets are free. So if you go to our website, you'll be able to claim it. And yeah, this year, it's not just about blockchain, not just about tech. We also bring together, say, um, Honda Keske and a Web3 K-pop group called Triple S to the stage to engage more general public. So definitely, if you're interested in um, having a you know, cultural and technology, um, like enjoy, enjoy technology and culture together, definitely come to Akon, yeah. And also, don't forget to join Kudasai Japan. They have a Discord. And they have two Telegram channels, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. One for the normal one and one for the beginners. And we had a side event tonight. Yeah. And don't forget to register on uh, UEs. Um, if you don't know much about blockchain, go to that website. You got an entire course for that. And you can learn from the scratch. Uh, from, from IBS crypto side, OK. Uh, have fun. Don't drink too much. Keep safe. Woo! That's it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, just to add to that, um, yeah, um, so I mean, all the communities are super great to, um, you know, have a chat with everyone. So from our side, you know, obviously we want to help or just provide a, a toolkit for everyone who's just getting into Web3. So come to you each platform and learn about it. And then if there's any way for us to work together, uh, all the communities actually come together to figure out r really cool Web2 use cases that we can all test and all try uh, at such a great event like this. Um, you know, let's figure out a way to work together. Um, yeah, I really appreciate everyone uh, being here. Um, yeah, let's, let's, con let's keep building. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you for a great session. Uh, so please have the very big applause for them. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a fun. Thank you. 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 Thank you